As you already know, I'm reacting to all types of videos. And this video here, I have not reacted to. I know about Jade Fox. I've seen a couple of her videos. To me, she seems to be very educated, very informed. She speaks well. Communication skills is top notch. And you know what? I'm gonna have to react to one of her videos eventually, so here I am. Jade Fox uploaded a video called, So Now That I'm 30. Okay, so apparently her birthday just passed and she is now 30 years old. Welcome to the 30s club, girl, because I is 36 years old. So let's see if, um, if we can relate. <laughs> Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. Hello, my name is Jade Fox. Welcome back to my channel, my black-owned channel. And today, I like that. I'll be address. I like that she said my black-owned channel, because by the end of the day, YouTube is a business, and she puts a lot of work and effort into her work. Public of things that I will no longer tolerate now that I am 30 years old. I like that. I know that you may be thinking, what does it matter? It, it does. First things first, when does wine start tasting good? Because currently it tastes like some shit you clean Jordans with. Next. Really? Thanks. Girl, the wine is good. It depends on what kind of wine you taste though, because me, I don't like red wine. White wine is my thing. Moscato's a little too fruity for me, but I like Pinot Grigio, because that gets me a little tipsy. Merlot is all right, but there's some wine out there, girl. Try it all. No longer invite me to. First one is hiking. Hiking is not a fun activity, it is <laughs> exercise. It's work. If my glutes are activated, it better not be because I'm fucking hiking. Hiking is ever <laughs> only okay. And really, if you just wanted to take a picture, you should have just said that. Clubs or bars that don't have seating. Hold on, girl, you're moving too fast for me here. Hold on, let's talk about these things. She's right. Hiking is exercise. I don't know why people enjoy that stuff. I mean, I get it, maybe the view. The view I understand. Like when you hike in certain places, it's just to see and observe everything. You're taking it all in, it feels good at times. Then when you're hot and sweaty and tired and exhausted, it takes all that positivity away. I only go for a walk or a hike with my dog to get his exercise. If I didn't have my dog, I probably wouldn't be out there. Clubs or bars that don't have seating. I buy <laughs> shoes to commute in, to walk in, not to stand in sticky Hennessy cocktail. Family reunions. Hold on, girl. Now you're making us feel like we're a little too old. 30s is still young, okay? We still got the energies. I realize in my adulthood, a uh, professional um, adulthood, that really your family is just a bunch of like random niggas who you might share a blood type with. And if you uh. have like bad acne and poor teeth construction, you probably got it from them too. So uh. really how great are they? Anything outdoors <laughs> where there's no access to shade? I don't need to elaborate on that. Uh, Many yeah. petty dates where you only get the basic package because I'm gonna get the deluxe every time. And you're yes. gonna have to wait an extra 20 to 30 minutes okay. because I'm getting some extra, there's more steps in my process. <laughs> you're gonna be sitting there waiting, refreshing uh. tweets, refreshing Instagram posts because I'm not done. This chapter is called Things That I Won't Eat Anymore. Chicken and waffles. I feel like chicken and waffles is white people's greens. Any place that uh. has chicken and waffles mm. is known for their chicken and waffles. I've known that, I've noticed that, how like literally if it's just on the menu, then it's something that they're known for. And that is where I'm gonna draw the line because chicken and waffles is always okay. Chicken and waffles is never mind blowing. It's never amazing. Mm. It's never fantastic. Chicken and waffles is is, is severely a four. It's I don't have an opinion on it because I don't think I've really gone to a place where they sell chicken and waffles. So I'm gonna have to skip that part for me. Hard four. It's fine, but usually the waffle is dry and has no flavor, or the chicken is dry and has no flavor. I've heard. It's very rare that the waffle is buttery, it's moist, and the syrup is good, I've heard. it's not too thick, and then the chicken is juicy, and it's hot, and it's crispy on the outside, it's salty. I'm not Bobby Flay, but even I know that. Any sugary drink, I don't, it's crazy to me that there was a point in time in my life where I would wake up at 7 a.m. and consciously go to Starbucks 
and get a frappuccino. I have no that idea ain't for you no more. how my bones are still intact. I mm. will also no longer be fake laughing. Why am I putting on- Yes, girl. I mean, preach that shit. I've been doing this since my mid-20s, okay? I stopped. Well, actually, let me take that back. At work, I am not going to laugh at something that's not funny. I'm sorry. Just because you're the boss, just because you're the manager, the supervisor, the team lead, I don't give a fuck who you are, the doctor, the nurse, I don't give a fuck. If you are not funny, I am not going to laugh. Everybody else can laugh and kiss your ass. I'm not doing it. I'm too old for that shit. I'm not here trying to impress you on a personal level. I already do that with my work. But on a social perspective, listen, I still do it. I just feel bad for some people. When some people go out of their way to try to be funny and they put in so much effort, so much work into it and nobody laughs, I feel bad, okay? I feel bad, so I feel forced to laugh just to make them feel good okay and because i made them feel good it makes me feel good so that's not going to change an emmy worthy performance of yuck yucks i'm lying to me and you at this point i will also no longer be feeling guilty for ordering food knowing i have groceries the groceries <laughs> have a role the food that i'm ordering has its role the groceries are for when the restaurants are closed Okay. The groceries are for those like three days a month where I'm healthy. The groceries are for guests. The groceries are decoration for the fridge. <laughs> Postmates, DoorDash. Your pleasure. Uber Eats. It's for your pleasure. Y'all have my heart. Mm. And you know what it is. Yes, ma'am. You know what we have. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I don't cook, don't want to, don't feel the need to, don't got the patience for it. If I'm hungry, I want it now. So if I had the money for it, Uber Eats, you as my best friend. All you fast food, you as my best friend. Restaurants, you as my best friend. And it feels good. Ain't nothing like homemade food, but when you want instant gratification, Uber Eats, y'all help me out. People don't understand it. That has nothing to do with it. I, I, girl, yes, you did that bust. <laughs> you busted that move, might as well finish it off. John B said it. This was dumb. <laughs> um, that's actually it. I have no more. The thing about your 20s is that like people like lie to you and say like, oh, your 20s is so fun. Your 20s, you know, you make all the mistakes, but then you turn 30 and it's still happening. But now <laughs> you're just 30. And so, oh. Uh... I'm just kind of winging it. I'm winging She's kind of right about that because in your 20s, yes, you make your, the most mistakes. But you don't really feel the consequences until you hit your 30s. Like, oh shit, I fucked up my credit score. I fucked up my car. I fucked up my multiple jobs. And now that I need that house, now that I need that new car, now that I need a job, I'm fucked. It's true, she ain't lying to you. And um, I'm, I'm just paying shit on time. That's it. Mm. I can't do anything else. Mm. Do you expect me to do anything else? Okay. I, I, and when I say, when I talk on those things, I didn't make those mistakes. Okay, I've always paid everything on time, always. Even if it meant nothing else in my pocket, it is what it is. I took care of my responsibilities. But I've seen that shit happen to a lot of people. Skin routine, and it's working out great. I don't really know what else I'm supposed to be doing. I know where my battery is in my car. I made an appointment to go to the dentist a while ago. Uh, I didn't go and I owe $100, but I called. I called them and I said, I knew the policy number. So I'm starting to think that 30 is kind of just like doing whatever you want because it's different than your 20s. I mean, I'm literally, I haven't even been 30 for a full month. It's on my third day out here. But <laughs> Girl. I'm getting the gist that hey. your 30s is kind of like your it's 20s, different. but like with more money mm. and more established, less, more settled. Like to give. And I'm into that. Mm. And I know that I'm that I look very young and beautiful. <laughs> and so y'all were like I love that shit. 30, I thought you were in twelfth grade. You're twenty? You know? It's it's just it's just black things. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I also think that your thirties is just when you finally make all those little improvements that you've been wanting to make. Who knows? I might get back to braces again. So if you see me on your timeline with a mouthful of earring backs. It is what it is. I'm very much here for aging though very much here for i'm not girl i don't know what you're thinking about but listen i know i got bags but i've had bags since my 20s i really did not take take good care of myself and i still really don't especially with my skin you know i use body wash 
on my face. I don't use when I'm supposed to. I just don't want to do the process. I just don't. But I still look young. I keep getting it from everybody. At first, in my 20s, I was okay with it. But now in my 30s, it's like, I kind of get offended by it. And let me explain why. This whole time, while we're having these conversations, as these days pass on, you probably think, oh, she's young. She don't know what she's talking about. Oh, she doesn't have any life experience. She don't know what she's talking about. These things probably cross your mind because you think I'm young. And then you find out I am 30 six years old and that the things I say actually make sense and it should have never gone in one ear and out the other and, and that my experiences actually matter. It's offensive. Discounts on breakfast that are coming up in my future. Not looking forward to the health issues. I literally went to the doctor the other day to get a pap smear and as she was getting real pappy, um, <laughs> she said, oh, real this pappy. is a little difficult. The doctor said that. Oh. Great. We're off to a really great start. Oh. Very fortunate. Because I know y'all are dying to receive She is pretty, by the way. This girl is pretty. She is in a relationship. They live together. Don't know if they're engaged or anything like that. Check her out, y'all. She also has a style channel where she talks about style, clothing, and she gives you tips here and there. Check her out. Very wise. She's been doing YouTube for a long time. 30 year old person that's standing in front of you, ethereal, I would even say. Uh, barely even human being, you know, just kind of like a, like a spirit in front of you right now more of like a glowy star like entity yeah that's right. no one knows what they're doing everyone's winging it yeah and nobody really cares that much about what you post online the things that are yeah. at the forefront of your mind about your appearance about what you post about your family whatever it is i'm telling you as an expert 30 year old <laughs> no one gives a fuck no one cares. They don't, but I've always said that though. This is why I don't like the human race. Humans are very selfish. I feel like every single one of us have some type of narcissistic characteristics. Humans just want to know what they can get out of you, what you bring to the table, how they can benefit from you. That's what it is. And this is why she says, nobody gives a fuck about but what no, you guys going on. They noticed and they don't even remember. Right. So you might as well do what you want. Right. You might as well live it up. Right. And she's right about that. In the 30s, you just don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. It's why I don't care about your negative comments on my channel. Keep them coming. Indulge. Go get a massage. Don't get the free one that lasts six minutes from your partner. <laughs> it's great. The thought was there. But the professionals are there. And they're going to get the pounding in that back. Okay. That's it for me. Uh, I'm going to go do get get my tires rotated and other 30 year old things like okay. I'm gonna buy a Christmas tree now ahead of that's time. right girl I'm gonna my Christmas gifts now ahead of time no girl you gotta get your Christmas decorations after Christmas that's when you save lots of money for the following year so I'm ready when the time comes I'm gonna learn how to wrap a gift properly actually. see I've been in my 30s for a while I know a little bit you know what I should learn mm. I should learn how to fry chicken without being scared <laughs> Yo, yo, you ended it perfect. That is another reason why I don't want to cook. I get scared of shit flickering. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.